and new at five, a CBS 46 exclusive. Ever since Fulton County District Attorney Paul Howard announced that a team would be reviewing old convictions, the relative of a murder victim has been outraged. Mary Fagan Keene is furious that her great aunt's case, one of the most notorious in Georgia history, might be reopened. CBS 46's Sally Sears traveled to LJ this morning to hear her side of this complicated story, Sally. I am live at the gravesite where Mary Fagan lies. One of the few questions answered completely is that she is buried here. But was her killer's conviction fair? Leo Frank is his name. The namesake of uh, Mary Fagan has some more serious questions. She'd like to know just what is happening with the Conviction Integrity Unit that Fulton County District Attorney Paul Howard is assembling. If you research conviction integrity units across the country, they are mainly for people that are alive and that are in prison. Long dead is Mary Fagan, 1913. Her convicted rapist and killer, Leo Frank, was lynched in 1915. The accomplice and alternate suspect for the murder is James Conley, unseen for over half a century. Today, Mary Fagan's family is furious. This case could be reconsidered and the family not consulted. I know that he is guilty and they are just not telling the truth. This case for over a hundred years has been a stew of racism, sexism, classism, and of course, anti-Semitism. The district attorney's office is advertising right now for a leader for the Conviction Integrity Unit. It will accept cases for possible inclusion by, by nominations from the public. At six o'clock, old wounds reopened. In Marietta, at Mary Fagan's grave, I'm Sally Sears, CBS 46 News.